On this episode of the Dell Engine Project, I make the axle boxes. I'll be using the lathe and the mill to machine these out of brass bar. Starting with 30mm square bar, I cut enough material for four axle boxes using the horizontal bandsaw. Next this off to the mill to square the bar and machine it to size. I use a cut pull bearing to ensure the workpiece is pressed firmly against the front jaw of the vise. I use the 50mm carbide insert base mill to square the block. Once the block's the size, I square the end using a 12mm solid carbide end mill. Then I mount the block vertically to drill the axle hole. To locate the centre of the block, I use an edge finder. I zero the digital readout on the first edge. Then move to the second edge. When I found the edge on the opposite side, I press the half function and then select the X axis. This halves the dimension, making the centre zero. I repeat the same process for the Y axis. Then I move the table so that both the X and Y axes are zeroed. Then I can start drilling with a spotting drill. This is then followed by a 9.5mm drill, a 9.8mm drill, and then reamed to 10mm. Here I'm using a machine reamer, which runs at a slow RPM, covered with a liberal coating of cutting oil. Now I head back over to the horizontal bandsaw to cut the block into four separate axle boxes. These are loaded into lathe using a four jaw chuck. The four jaw chuck has independent jaws which allow the work to be accurately centred. I use a dial indicator to ensure the part is running true. Once the part is running true, I can start machining.
I face the block off, then create the step feature on the front. Then it's time to remove the part from the chuck and flip it over. I use a parallel to ensure the machine face of the part is square with the face of the chuck. You don't need to worry about centering the part on the bore at this point as I'm just squaring the rear with the front. Once the back of the part has been faced off square, I use digital calipers to check its thickness. I can then set the thickness on the digital readout, allowing machining for the final thickness of 10mm. In calculator mode, I enter the dimension measured and then press the X axis to change the dimension. After facing the part off to the final dimension, I check again with the digital calipers and then unload the part from the chuck. Here we have the four axle boxes ready for the next machining process, which is machining the edge features on the mill. I use a 12mm end mill to cut these. Once both sides are machined, I can trial fit before doing some final filing to ensure a perfect fit. And here we have the frame with the axle boxes in place, slid into their slots on the horn blocks. for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.